Air Parrot Remote lets you control Air Parrot 2 from your iOS device. What is up my friends, this is Jeff Benjamin. We are talking about Air Parrot Remote, an iOS app that works as a companion to Air Parrot 2, which runs on your Mac. Now, of course, we all know Air Parrot 2 by now. This is the utility that runs on the Mac that allows you to do all sorts of really cool stuff like mirroring your display, extending your desktop, sending over specific uh, applications if you want to do that. You can send over media files, do audio only streams. So basically, it's a much more robust version of the AirPlay option found built into OS X. Let me show you here, for instance, how I can send over a specific application, just one app at a time, over to my AirPlay device like that, my Apple TV. You can see it right there. And I can actually control that from my Mac, but all the user is seeing on the Apple TV is that one application, which is really cool. Now, what I want you to do right now is take a brief mental snapshot of the interface for AirPair 2 on the Mac. Now, look at that same interface over on AirPair Remote looks strikingly similar as you can see there. So again, AirPair Remote is a companion app for AirPair 2 running on your Mac. So that means that your Mac can be in another room and you can still control AirPair 2 from the convenience of your iOS device. So you could be on your couch and still control things. You can even stream media directly from your Mac using Air Parrot Remote. Of course, you can send over single applications, you can send over an entire desktop, extend your desktop, and you can also control your desktop and applications using the mouse cursor like this, right from the convenience of your iOS device. Obviously, that's probably gonna be a little bit better on the iPad Pro, <laughs> but uh, it does work from your iPhone as well. So. If you're an Air Parrot 2 for Mac customer, it kind of seems like a no brainer at this point that you would want to be able to control Air Parrot 2 without having to venture over to your Mac, wherever that may be. Maybe you have an iMac. Obviously, you can't control your iMac from your couch. This is going to be a great companion for uh, Air Parrot 2 running on your Mac. Now, if, you're, if you have a laptop, maybe it's a little bit easier, uh, but still, it's nice to be able to just control it from your iPhone or iPad. You can see there I'm streaming media. This isn't coming from my iPhone, this is coming from the Mac, but I'm controlling it using Air Parrot Remote. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.